This is going to be the end of pretty much every cigar and you know other regulated goods that they're going to apply this to channel on YouTube. Hey, welcome to Super Social Club. I'm Jeremy. This is Whiskey to Six. I'm Rob. Welcome to the Whiskey Ramp Podcast. It's a little crusty. It's frustrating. And it's going to be a little bit of a rant. I don't understand it. I don't know why. Some sort of injustice. Anyway, end rant. Hello and welcome back to the Whiskey Ramp Podcast. I'm Jeremy. I'm Rob. And tonight we've got a treat for ourselves. We're going to blind taste the Glen Allocky 10 year old cast strengths batches three to seven. Yeah. I mean, I tried two. I never tried one. No. Yeah. Um, and one wasn't very successful. Yeah. So I wonder if one was just kind of a, like, you know, getting it started a little bit of a dud. Yeah. Two is great. Mm -hmm. Three I, is where I fell in love. Yeah. Yeah. So we don't have batches one or two just because we don't own them. Yeah. They were, when they got popular, it was, like I said, like near the end of batch three, uh -huh. right? Like batch four was just about to come out, hit the UK popularity for batch four cause people to go after batch three and say, hey, wow, this is actually mm -hmm. really good. So it's sold out here. And, and also a bit of a change in maturation types that they use starting in batch three as well, right? Absolutely. A lot yeah. more first fill sherry, Oloroso sherry, and then uh, some virgin oak as well, starting in batch four, I believe. Yeah. And the output of these bottles is exponentially growing. You look all the way back at batch three, only 3,500 bottles produced. You go up to batch seven now, they're, they're putting out 66,000 bottles of this. Um, so yeah, exponentially growing, uh, as obviously as demand goes up, they are um, meeting it. Well, yeah, as best they can, I'm sure. Um, batches six, seven, using Roja wine casts. Right. Um, which is new. Um, was it batch five a Roja? Yeah, sorry, batch five, batch five, five, was five the six, first. and seven yeah. all have that Roja wine cast. Yeah, in. batch five is the first of the the, the, the group. Yeah. And then, as far as we know, Virgin Oak started at batch four? Uh, yes, I believe Virgin Oak in batch four, but not in batch three. Well, we're using, we should say, we, we are using whiskey base as our like source yeah. reference. So yeah, I'm referencing whiskey base for the maturation types and the number of bottles produced. So yeah, so we're basing it on that. It's, it's a very, like, I would say whiskey geek slash professional uh, version of Wikipedia almost. Yeah. Right? Where people can go in there and alter facts and stuff like that. Sure. Which are fact checked, but yeah. I mean, I'm sure things get like slipped through the cracks kind of thing. So I want to fact check. Uh, the batch three because I feel like there might be that was I feel like that was the start of using virgin oak yeah and or, no mention two. of ex bourbon casks either right and we think that maybe batch one and two both had virgin casks in it. anyway yeah. regardless of that we're just gonna simply go through taste these and kind of just blindly pick what we think is the best one yeah they're all pretty similar um, we're gonna try to actually guess which one's which you want to try to guess I'm gonna try to Okay. I, I feel like I'm up for the challenge. I haven't had a blind tasting in forever. COVID is a good like two months in the past. Okay. Right. I have a bit of an advantage because I've drank some of batch seven. You've never tried batch seven. Never before. tried batch seven. So you're going completely blind with yeah. the newest batch. Um, and also on the show tonight, we're going to talk about, is this the end of YouTube for whiskey reviews? It's happening with cigars. A lot of prominent cigar channels on YouTube are getting strikes. They're getting shut down. And we'll play you a clip of one of the bigger ones and uh, what happened to his channel yeah. going forward. Yeah, crazy stuff happening in YouTube. And it's kind of, it's all, it's kind of always been the wild, wild west mm -hmm. where they can, they, there was a time where they literally shut down monetization for no reason at all. Yeah. And then pretty much every video was being like, had to go through a rigmarole to, to be monetized. I don't know if you remember that. That was before it was you my, started. Before my time. Yeah, before yeah. you started on YouTube. And but it seems like there's definitely a crackdown on tobacco-related uh, products. Mm -hmm. And if you have any kind of like affiliated link, uh, you're looking at getting strikes on your channel. And now it doesn't even really even need to be a physical link in your description. If you mention your affiliation, wow. if you mention go to cigars.com and buy cigars here, that could be a strike. Oh wow! Yeah. Yeah, it's getting that serious. Yeah, it's it's crazy to me because if it's legal, it should be allowed. 
I think. Like if it if these things are legal, like there's there's all sorts of stuff on YouTube. Why are these guys being targeted? I wonder. You know, it's just I think it's because advertisers don't want their stuff on these types of videos. Maybe, yeah. Um, you know, it's it's we'll get into it, but like essentially we rate our videos that are not they're not child friendly, right? There's a right. whole process when we go to post a video. Exactly. We're ticking off boxes like not recommended for kill it for children. Exactly. Right? So our videos won't show up if you're using YouTube kids or right. you have an age restriction or whatever. Right. But that's not enough, right? That's not uh, enough for well, YouTube. To them, yeah, they're they're, li they're literally shutting down videos. Yeah, it's it's unfortunate because, like you just said, could it be the end of what we're doing here? Maybe one day. I mean, I feel like their tobacco is becoming a little bit more taboo, and alcohol will always be a fun, loving kind of like mm -hmm. thing. There's no. I mean, we know it can lead to bad things, but it's always been portrayed as, you know, a good time. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I mean, we don't have numbers on YouTube, like right. how many people are actually doing this. Right. For, for cigars, it can't be that much. For like alcohol reviews, it also can't be that much, right, really. exactly. Like maybe like there's more cocktail type channels than anything else. Yeah. But like YouTube doesn't need our videos on their site. Right. Right? They could easily just be like, no alcohol, no tobacco, it's done. Yeah. It's, they're doing it with tobacco. Yeah. It's, you know? Yeah, exactly. Like they don't need our they don't need our videos on there. There's no, not that not. many of them. It's a very no. small percentage of their overall stuff. Yeah. True. Then we'll have to both convert to fish tube. <laughs> <laughs> Just set up a camera in front of your tank. I mean that's that's that gets views, man. It does get views. It's right? bigger than it's bigger than whiskey tube by a lot. Yeah. By a lot. There's a guy from Nova Scotia. Uh, King DIY or something like that. Really cool guy. Um, that guy's got like 1.5 million subs. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So. This is going to be tough. These nose very similar to me. Well, this one definitely is different though. I mean, maybe it's the Norland glass. I feel like I'm going to be able to tell the three. Like I... And the four, like the Roja cast ones. You like I think those out. I think I've already nailed the three, to be honest, but I don't know for sure. Mm -hmm. I, and I mean, this will be a, this will be an interesting test because I've always had, like, a love for the three. Mm -hmm. That has always been like I've always been like oh I, I hold it in high yeah. regard, right? So, but like really nice sherry notes on this, like big bold fruit, chocolate fudge, yeah, little orange. Citrus. Yeah. Yeah. I think based on the nose, I've already aligned these to like the six and seven are here, I think. And then the one, the three, four, five are here. Okay. I could wow. be wrong. You've already just. What, what, let's, just on the nose. let's go to the reveal. Let's go, go to the, the reveal. reveal. Go to the reveal. You already nailed it. Um. While we're doing this, let's play you guys um, a video by Brian Glenn. He is the owner of Cigar Obsession, one of the bigger review uh, YouTube, well, <laughs> one of the, clo uh, was one of the biggest YouTube reviewers. Um, so we'll just play a little clip of his explanation of what happened to him and uh, with his channel on YouTube. Hey guys, welcome back. This is going to be a quick video. It's just information. It's not a rant, but it's good information and its clarification. Hopefully it helps answer the questions about what happened with the Cigar Obsession YouTube channel and now what's happening to a whole bunch of other cigar related YouTube channels. Here's where the issue is. Number one, they don't tell you ahead of time. Actually three issues. Two, it's always retroactive, which means you could have, oh, I don't know, 12 years of videos out there, they make a new rule and boom, they're all affected by that new rule. Three, they start enforcing these often before the rule is announced or written, meaning it's on their published guidelines, it's in their facts, it's somewhere on the website where you can actually know about it. They enforce it behind the scenes and you're left absolutely clueless. And that's part of what happened to me because for a long time now I've been getting these dings I've been getting strikes 
And it was like flipping a coin if it's going to be upheld or reversed, depending on who I talked to. I've said that before. Because there was nothing written. I did not break a single rule. Up until now, the guidelines regarding promoting regulated goods, which includes tobacco, it includes a few other things, not every regulated good, say alcohol, that's still very much allowed. But, oh, tobacco, that's so different. Anyway... It used to say um, no links to any source that deals in regulated goods, meaning you can't have a link. And I clarified before several times with YouTube directly that a link is a URL you can click on, meaning somebody put in the description HTTPS colon slash slash uh, smoking.com, for example. You couldn't put that in the description anymore. But you could say smoking.com. You could have a banner in your background on your on your you know set. So you know it says smoking.com. You could talk about it. You could put smoke in in the description. As long as it's not a link, it was fine. And I completely complied with that, as did many other cigar channels. But now, now they finally updated the rule. This is catastrophic. I'm, I'm, I can't say that with enough emphasis. This is going to be the end of pretty much every cigar and you know other regulated goods that they're going to apply this to channel on YouTube. Not just people selling stuff, not people mentioning stores or anything like that. Under these words... Pretty much anything, even just saying a cigar name, could be construed as encouraging. Here's, here's the new rule. This is what used to just say, no links to anywhere that promotes regulated goods. <clears throat> this policy applies to video, audio, video descriptions, comments, pinned comments, live streams, and any other YouTube product or feature Links can take any form that would direct a user to a off-site, I'm sorry, direct a user to a site off YouTube, including clickable URLs, <clears throat> showing text of URLs in videos or images, like ads or overlays or names or anything like that. So if you have a guest on a show, for example, uh, Abe, owner of smoking.com, you're banned. Obs How do you say that word? Uh, Obfuscated. <laughs> little brain fart. Obfuscated URLs, for example, writing .com instead of period com, verbally directing users to other sites via video or audio. Like, hey, and check out CigarObsession.com for more info. Nope, banned. Or encouraging viewers to visit creator profiles or pages on other sites. Well, hey, you just watched a video review of Blah 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 Cigar. If that sounds pretty good, check it out. We'll see you next time. That's how I've been ending a ton of my videos. Well, that's encouraging users. Please note, this is not a complete list. And there's the other complete back door to we're going to do whatever the hell we want. So there's your clarification. And all of you that have been hammering and commenting with these wild theories about what happened, I told you guys, you were just talking out your butt. You didn't know because nobody said anything. YouTube never confirmed anything. Uh, you wouldn't believe some of the stuff people thought was the reason for all this happening. Here's your reason. And this is direct off of YouTube right now. So that's what's going on. And I tried to warn everybody over a year ago, some listen, some have been backing up to other sites since then, but a lot of them right now are just getting hit and they're, you know, crying in the wind Saw it coming, you know, if you didn't take precautions ahead of time, well, now you're in the boat you're in now. So 
this is what's going on. Just want to get, uh, get the info out there and uh, let me know what you think. See ya. So that's insane. Yeah, that's like not scary. just having like a link in your description to like Cigar Club or whatever. Like a lot of our fellow peers use Cigar Club as an affiliated link. Yeah. That is like for sure going to get them strike sooner or later, yeah. I would think. Yep. Um, and those videos will be shut down. I've done a couple cigar videos where I'm pairing a cigar with a whiskey. I've taken my um, monetization off of those videos just as a precaution. Yeah. I'm not really sure if you can still do those videos without monetizing them or not. That's crazy. I feel like you could still do it without the monetization because that's really the issue. Um, but who knows? And as he said, this could apply to whiskey. Absolutely, it could. Of course it could. Of course it could because it if advertisers are saying, hey, we're you know a healthy product, we don't want to be affiliated with yeah. alcohol. Right. Or we're a car company, we don't want to be affiliated with Absolutely. alcohol. Absolutely. Right? And like, <clears throat> you know, I've done a video where I've talked about, you know, um, Springbank Society. Right, yeah. joining Spring Bank Society, left the link yeah. to join Spring Bank Society. That's yeah. an affiliated link. Right? Yeah. How many guys have SMWS affiliations and so, links? I mean, I guess what YouTube is trying to do is make us not generate revenue through them anymore. Mm -hmm. Right, and then they're they're finding like the ad apocalypse. That was that. That was yeah. just, they saved a ton of money at that time. Like what they did at that time was they would stop your video from, from making any money for a week. When, when you release a video, when do you get the mo the bulk of your views? The first, you know, 24 hours. The first probably. 24 hours. Yeah. Exactly. So they, on the big YouTubers that are getting like 50 to a hundred thousand to a million views in the first day. Yeah. They were. They basically took money. Off, they took food off their plate. Yeah. They took food off their table. Right. Yeah. So, um, I mean, guys like me that are not generating a lot of money on Google, I guess like at the end of the day, if they took it away, yeah, okay, it, it would suck, but it's not the end of the world. Yeah. And I think we have such a cool like fan base that that would probably very quickly. If we just demonetized, took off ads altogether, that would like generate to a little bit more, maybe Patreon money or, or something like that, right? right? And I think that's probably the avenue that these cigar companies will have to take. Yeah. Because otherwise, how are they gonna how are they gonna do what they were doing before? Right. Like these channels cost a lot of money, and cigars are ridiculously expensive. You you said today a box of Cubans cost what was it like three grand or two grand or something? Oh well, yeah. I mean, Cuban cigars in in specifically are going up yeah. astronomically, yeah. especially certain brands like yeah. Cohiba and Trinidad. Um, you know, there's <laughs> the market in uh, Hong Kong, I believe it is, is the most expensive cigar market currently in the world. Yeah. And what's happening is, you know, people are buying up cigars outside of Hong Kong because they're, you know, maybe three times less money and then bringing them there and selling them. And yeah. so what, Cuba's doing it, what Havana's, which is the company that owns all the rights to sell cigars out of Cuba, they're like, okay, we're just going to set the global price for these brands the same as Hong Kong's paying. So every single person will pay the same amount relative to our most expensive market, which is them. And wow. so you've taken, you know, a Cohiba that was, you know, around, let's say $30 US, and now you've made it $90 US. You've tripled the price. Yeah. And that's going to be the global standard. So cigar, like Cuban cigar prices are going to go up. Right. Yeah. So, I mean, these guys that are running these channels that have to source a Cuban to do a review or, or whatever, it's yeah. going to cost them a lot of money. They yeah. might have to close shop if other things don't start picking up, like sure. Patreon, Super Chat, whatever it is. Yeah. Right. Actually, I don't even know if you'd be able to get a Super Chat. Um, there's that new feature on, on YouTube where they can do like a super chat style mm -hmm. thing um, on any video. Yeah. 
is that heart is that thank you or whatever it's called yeah uh super thanks or something like that so um, i mean obviously cigar obsession was a, a youtube channel that i watched a lot of he's moved his content to uh, instagram and some other platform as well for me i don't consume that much video on those formats and at, like at all. i find myself not seeing his videos hardly at all yeah instagram is great for those reels like the 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 10 to I think it's 30 seconds, maybe up to a minute. Yeah. Uh, reels, you, uh, you slide through mm -hmm. when you're bored or whatever, and then that's it. I don't actually consume any actual video on Instagram. Right? Like, you know, you're gonna put a, a, a freaking Whiskey Rant podcast on YouTube, on Instagram, and okay. have someone watch an hour video on there? I don't no, think it's, gonna, it's not gonna fly, right? Like, no. what happens if YouTube applies what they're doing to cigars? to all alcohol related content. What do you do with your channel? What do we do with the podcast? I think I think we try to you know, go a la Joe Rogan and hit up Spotify. <laughs> <laughs> I mean we ain't getting hey, no They got deep pockets. They can they can shed a little cake our way. Well I mean I wonder though, right? Like I think I think it's an opportunity for a company like Spotify to like really yeah. take their their thing to the next level. And maybe start doing like video on Spotify. Do video on Spotify, uh I don't know what it takes to get monetized on Spotify, but like, mm -hmm. you know, start start looking into ad companies that are willing to yeah. pay for these like these specific things. You know yeah. what I mean? He, uh, Joe Rogan moved to Spotify because some of the things that he was saying were a little taboo for YouTube, maybe yeah. right? Um, whereas Spotify was all over it, yeah. so maybe they'll be all over these cigar companies at some point. I mean, I think for me, it's like the ad revenue that I get from YouTube is not that much. Right. I would do all my videos ad free if yeah. it was required, right? If that was the stipulation Absolutely. where like that's you exactly can still right. do alcohol content, but you can't monetize it, I'd be like, that's fine. It's not going to change anything right. about it, my videos. It won't make or break me at all. Right. I, I mean, the majority of my revenue on this channel comes from Patreon yeah. and it's not that much either, but it's, a, it's more than I'm making from Google. Yeah. So, yeah, the Google Ad AdSense, like, for our channels, we don't make that much money. And to Not get all. rid of it wouldn't stop us from doing it. Bigger channels, perhaps. Yes. Right? Like, exactly. bigger channels that have a larger overhead or whatever. Right. They're, you know, they're making serious money. Like, yeah. legit, you know, salaries. Right, from, exactly. From their videos. And yeah. they rely on that monetization. Yeah, like, it would affect a guy like Ralphie a lot. Because I'm, I'm assuming he's making upwards i mean i don't want to say what he's making i don't know for sure so i don't want to just speculate but he's making a good salary on on youtube but yeah. then again he's also making that salary on on patreon as well so. i mean i was thinking of channels like whiskey tribe who put out a lot of content and get you know hundreds of thousands of views per video yeah that's legit that's legit ad adsense and i yeah. think they only monetize one of their channels right one they don't i don't i think yeah one of the channels i think is it I know that they don't monetize one of their channels for sure, so right. I don't know if it's both or, or what it is. Either way, the, they're bringing in lots of views and they're putting out lots of content. Yeah. So that would definitely have a huge effect on them. Absolutely. Yeah, I think I think we would have to really look into the podcast side of things. Mm -hmm. I think we're already kind of, I mean, I, I took a quick look at both of our content over the last six months and we are way more rant heavy than than just regular review heavy yeah right yeah um which is i think a good thing because i think i think people enjoy the rants a little bit mm -hmm. you know um <clears throat> so yeah scary times ahead for Let's especially for cigar channels and yeah. people that um are doing cigar content especially if you have an affiliation with cigar company it's mind-blowing to me because you have people live streaming the war in Ukraine. Yeah, that can be monetized, right? right? But but uh, but you can't. You it's know, un talk yeah. about cigars. It's unfortunate because there is that, like we said, there is that like uh, protection where it's like this is not going to populate in like kids' videos, right? right? It's like you have to have you have to be signed in under your an age restriction yeah. to view our videos to begin with. So it's like exactly. that should be fine, but. Yeah. They make the rules, uh, like um, Brian said. That you know, it's a private company. They yeah. can do what they want. It's, Absolutely, he doesn't have any issue with it. It's like if you don't want your content, they don't want your content. And you got to yeah. move on to something else. Exactly. I mean, YouTube. Let's be honest, has been good to us in a lot of ways. Like, there's 
I owe a lot to to YouTube just just because of the opportunities I've had through Whiskey in the Six, and that's not financial. Like I'm not I'm not more rich because mm -hmm. of Whiskey in the Six than you know uh, my day to day job. I, I'm I live a modest life and whatever. Obviously, I have a lot of whiskey, but that also has to do with Whiskey in the Six. But um, the opportunities that have uh, you know uh, that we both actually very recently, especially have uh had come our way mm -hmm. wouldn't wouldn't happen if it wasn't for youtube so i i mean i'm i'm grateful for what i've had yeah and my experience through google at this yeah, point for sure you know uh what are we not to cut the topic off but uh what what are we doing over here are we gonna well kind of go through which ones are our favorite and what we think they are or we're not gonna do that at all i don't know yeah we should do that i'm still kind of struggling because a lot of these are pretty close in profile, I'd say. Um, I feel like I can go, and it won't affect really anything that you're doing on your end because yours are like completely different set of glasses and stuff like that, right? So, well, let me just narrow some stuff down. I want to pick what one I like the most. Mm -hmm. um, there's at least three that I like the most, mm -hmm. in which I'm thinking are three, four, five. Three, four, five. <laughs> um, then I think, so my guess is that I'm liking five the most, and I think this middle one is five. Um, I think this is three, and I think this is four. And I'm, I'm pretty, in, like, even on these two, okay. three and four, which for me is, I mean, I always kind of liked five the most, I think. Although I was battling between that and three okay. at one point. Put your glasses in frame. In frame. If, make sure they're in frame. I think they are. And I will put a, put them in order that you what you think is from three to seven. Oh, what I think is three to seven. Okay, so then I gotta switch these two around. Yeah, don't forget what one you like the most, but put in order what you think is from three to seven. Okay. And then I'll put up in the edit what they actually are. Right, right? that makes sense. And then we'll see. So I'm gonna do the same thing. So three to seven. Three to seven. Three right? to seven. Okay. For me. Okay. This is three. That's what you think is three. Four, okay. five, six. And then and mine's seven. the other way. Okay. Because that's, right. that's yeah. the way we do stuff in. I'm Italian. I mean, actually, you know what? I, I deal guess cards. I deal cards counterclockwise. <laughs> I just that's how I roll. <laughs> from my perspective, from the camera's perspective, uh, you did it actually right. You know. Yeah. From I like mean, their perspective, that makes sense. From my perspective, it, anyway. I think either perspective. way, it doesn't matter because we're. It doesn't we're matter. Just, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hold on. Let me just one more. One more sip. Sure. Essentially, this is a game of picking out the Roja wine casks. Yeah. Pretty much. Um. And I personally think that batch seven has the most influence of that in it out of all the batches I've tried so far mm. from what I've done, um, or from what I've tried from batch seven so far, I think it's got the most. Yeah. Robot. Which is, which is why I think I like it a little bit better than six because six has this note to it that I'm not crazy about. Mm. And I don't know, I haven't, this my, if this is seven and I'm right, this is the first time I'm trying it. Yeah. What would you say is like the Glenallachy, you know, signature note? Does it have something in the, you know, in the distillate that you can pick out time and time again? So I would say up until five, it had this like, like a wet rock kind of minerality to it. Yeah. That was the, the Glenallachy signature for me. And, I, and you get it in the 12, you get it a little bit less in the 15, mm -hmm. you still get it in the 18, which is weird. Yeah. I think it's just the, the portion of PX cask. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it's that minerality. It's that, right. that wet rock. You either love it or you don't. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I fell in love with it very early on. The lesser sherry expressions have it. I don't like pretty much any of Glenallachy's wine casks. So like the Madeiras and like the the mm -hmm. like the exclusive Rioja and like anything I've tried outside of sherry or virgin oak from from Glenallachy, I wasn't a big fan. Yeah. Um, but you know how much I love Glenallachy, so obviously yeah. that doesn't outweigh their quality. Mm -hmm. 
their their core range is amazing in my opinion i agree yeah i mean the 12 year old they just they've just really made a nice a nice drinking scotch there. i really hope it stays that way yeah me too. i really hope it stays me that too. way. and like this whole range is great yeah um, i mean i really do like it a lot you're gonna have batch variation you're gonna have some that appeal more to one guy than the next yeah right there's gonna be guys that say six is their favorite yeah. or or seven is their favorite mm -hmm. it's just not for us yeah right yeah i mean like i've talked about this in a video about you know exponentially going up Right. in batches right right like each one is getting thousands and thousands of more more and more casts are dumping in yeah um to maintain it is obviously difficult and we've always talked before about glen alki you know like they're recasking all this stuff in the warehouse into what we presume are wet sherry casks yeah um we talked to our good friend james about it you know he said that um Billy Walker really got in at a great time before COVID, just at the perfect time to buy up all these sherry casts, and he yeah. really went hardcore. He right? did. They spent a shit ton of money. They recasked everything. Right. And, like, I think you can equate some of the color differences as well to the virgin oak. Yeah. Like, that, there's got to be some heavily charred virgin oak. Like, mm -hmm. for it, for the five to taste as smooth, in, smooth as, like, whatever. For the five trigger taste, word, yeah, exactly. <laughs> All the, like, every, like, uh, people are losing their minds right now. Um, <laughs> for the five to be as to drink as old as it does, considering how young it is, mm -hmm. there's got to be a good amount of virgin oak influence in there. I, I, and we we said that it didn't have in in that casking, but I feel like that's wrong. Yeah. Well, maybe I'll double, double check that. Okay, I think I am ready. Okay. I think I've made my decision. Right. It was not easy. No. Um, but I feel like maybe I could pick out, you know, I feel like I could pick out seven because for me, I've been drinking that more frequently. And for, in my opinion, it has the most of that Roja wine cast okay. influence in it. So here it is. I have, this is in order of what I think they are. I Three, switched my four, order five, to six, yours. seven. Three, yeah. four, five, six, seven. I did this. You guys same. will see what they actually are. So yeah. three, four, five, six, seven, and you went three, four, five, six, seven. I changed it to the way you have it. So okay. it's three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so those are our guesses, yeah. and I guess we'll see how accurate we are. Right. Um, let's just pick our favorites, though. For let's right go now. for our favorite. Let's okay. go for our favorite. I, if this is five, this is no, no, no. Just what is your favorite? So this middle one's my favorite. Okay. Um, then it was. It's like a tie between these two here. Yeah. Then I would go with, so let's say middle, far left. These are rankings from your most enjoyable to Most least. enjoyable to least. Yeah. One, two, three, four, which I think is seven, uh -huh. and five, which I think is six. Okay. For me, my most enjoyable would be this glass here, which four. I think is four. Okay. And then I would go, actually I would go here. To five. Which I think is five. Then I would go to this glass, and then what I think is six, and my least enjoyable would be this glass seven. here. Okay. All right. Do you want to reveal? Let's let's do this kay. one at a time, I guess. Let's just go. Yeah. Um, just go with your favorite. What mm. was your what number was your favorite? So I just I just downed three, and that was right. It's three. Oh, you were bang on. I was right. Okay. So, yeah. So three. All right. Let me see what I picked for this one. Oh, that's five. That's five. You got five. Okay. So, okay. off. That's all right. But this was my favorite. What is this one? That's three. That's three. Three I is my favorite. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> all right, let's see. I love it. Is this one four then? That's that is four. four. Okay. So, so three was your favorite. Four was your second favorite, which you originally thought that yeah. four was your favorite. Yeah. Um, I said that That's this is my four. And this is four. Okay, you're two for two. I'm two for two. You're two for two. All right, uh, this was my favorite, which is I said was five. Okay. And it's five. Okay, oh man, you're gonna be bang on. Um, this I said was my least favorite, and it's six. Oh, it's seven. Oh. So, okay, so there you go, right? Okay. There, I mean, this is where the discrepancy would have okay. happened. And this is six. And this is six. So then my second least favorite, six, which I banged on, and then this has gotta be seven, which I, definitely knew so, I knew that this one so, was seven. So and it's crazy for me because other than five five was five was 
the unicorn in all of these because mm -hmm. I felt from three, it got progressively worse and then five happened and I'm like, okay, maybe, maybe it's not gonna get pro progressively worse and then six and seven happened and I'm like, okay, right. something's not right. Yeah. Something's wrong with the blending or something like isn't the same. It's not as good as it used to be. Yeah. And I think based on both of our assessments, mm -hmm. that's factual because you yeah. literally picked three, four, five, six, and seven in order without knowing that you did that quality wise. That's true. That's crazy. Yeah. Because I did a blind before with three, four, five. Yeah. And I picked four as my favorite both that. times. I remember that. And then now, like these are pretty close as far as what I am. Exactly. Enjoyable and, factor. And I also they think are very close. it depends on your palate yeah. because between three and five, Three has more of the Glenallachy characteristic that I love, uh -huh. but five, it's just, it's so ironed out. Like there's something about five that just makes me like always wowed yeah. by how like there's zero heat on it. Yeah. You know? That's four. Yeah. Interesting. I mean, uh, yeah, really obviously cool. I picked number three as my favorite tonight. Um, I picked four as my favorite previously, but um they're they're both three and we definitely agree like batch let's talk batch seven because that's like the, the newest batch out yeah. um for me it does have the most amount of wine influence mm -hmm. and i feel like it's throwing the balance off it's too zingy right it's like you get this it's really it's really like yeah. wine tannin you know and you know what's funny is i think six had a lot of Roja, Rioja, or however it's pronounced. We're saying Roja cast is. I don't think is we're it Rioja. It, it could be Rioja. I think it's Rioja. Yeah. Um, six had a lot compared to five, and then before that there was none. Mm -hmm. So, for me, when I was sipping on six, I'm like, there's something I'm not loving about this. Mm -hmm. And then, so I thought in my head that that's got to be like the, the, yeah. these were reversed because. Yeah. It was more intense, like you described, out of the seven. Yeah. So I hadn't tried the seven. Now, I mean, photo closure, this bottle has been open the least amount of time mm. compared to these other ones. Um, this wine note that I find is kind of sharp could yep. diminish. It could it could uh, level out. It could yeah. It could uh, yeah. open up a bit more. It's also getting honestly in in glass as we speak. They're all getting better. Yeah. You know. So I think. I would say that if you see any batch on the shelf, it's a buy at Grab retail it. price. Grab it, yeah. Without sure. a doubt. Yeah. Um, prices on these, we pay around $120. Ish. Yeah, I mean, the earlier batches maybe closer to 100 The later batches maybe closer to 120 130 Prices are going up. It seems yeah. like each batch, someone's throwing out an extra five, ten bucks at what, retail for us anyway. Which is mind blowing, in my opinion, because. Didn't you say there's what sixty thousand of the new one? Sixty six thousand, I think, was the numbers release um, for yeah. that. Yeah. So the prices shouldn't be going up. You're right. If there's sixty six thousand <laughs> bottles, it yeah. should be going down. Yeah. But the demand obviously is there, so that that's. But I feel like they got to be careful. Yeah. I really do feel like they got to be careful because the more they try to add to these expressions the more the quality is going down and it's showing. Yeah. I mean, I feel like they dumped a lot of wine cask into this one. Yep. Um, and I feel like it's it's hurting it a little bit. It is. And you know what? Like, I don't fault Glenallachy for living off the the success of its predecessor. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, the, the, the Batch 3 did well. The Batch 4 did incredible it won awards mm -hmm. didn't it win whiskey of the year or something like that batch five was awesome yeah. so then six came out and it kind of was a dud and then seven came out a dud relative to what you expect from exactly them. yeah exactly when you compare it like if you compare the six to the uh abalur abuna you're gonna be like i'll take that six all day yeah right yeah because the abuna is probably like five years old yeah right yeah but yeah, this number five has got a really nice chocolate note on it. It could be this Northern glass giving me that. It could be. It is cool actually nosing these from different glasses. Yeah, that's also. I mean, I had all Glen Karen, so I would I had maybe the advantage because they're all. Yeah, I don't think that I was really at a, a disadvantage because you get a little bit of a different nose. I mean, palate for me really was the determining factor. Mm -hmm. um, 
but yeah, yeah, you're right. It is. I mean, to do it more scientific, these should all should be in the same class. I mean, the first three I nailed just on nose. Mm -hmm. And then these two, I wasn't actually, I changed halfway through. I changed these two. I wish I would have just left it because I, you would have nailed it all. I would have nailed it. Yeah. 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 But I mean, I didn't, I, I was just going by guess. This was a 50, 50 for me because yeah. there's no way I knew. So I guess what we're saying is if you were at a store and they have every single batch in front of you, we would say that three and four and five. So I the ones to go to. I what went was with your five, again? five was my favorite. Three okay. was my second. Four yeah. was my third. Then I think it was six and seven. Yeah. But like I said, the three and the four for me are interchangeable. Like mm -hmm. you're almost like, do you want a little bit more chocolate or do you want a little bit more minerality glenallochy? Yeah. Right. That's that's really the, the difference between these two. Mm -hmm. They both are excellent. That maybe the four is a little less hot than the three. Yeah. I think the five is the least hot of yeah. them all. And I think it's most notable in a, in a, in a blind like this. Yeah. And that's probably why you went with the five as your favorite. Uh, no, or no, you went with I the went, three I as your favorite. I went with three as my favorite. You, you yeah. thought the three was the five. Uh, yes. Um, so I would say um, that yeah, I'd pick up a batch. And if you guys have a preference, leave us a comment down below. If you tried a couple different batches yeah. and you have a favorite so far, uh, what one is it? Yeah. Do you like six or seven? Maybe like, you know, that wine, that no people might gravitate towards them. Yeah. And, and that's what I was like kind of alluding to earlier. Like mm -hmm. I don't necessarily like the Madeiras, the Riojas, the yeah. whatever else, like the Saturns, whatever cast they do. But that doesn't mean that other people won't love that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Um, it's just not for me. Yeah, I prefer to stick to like PX Oloroso, Virgin Oak, and occasionally like some bourbon cask. Yeah, you know, um, bourbon cask a little bit more heavy when Pete's involved, yeah. and the other ones when it's not. Yeah, right. But uh, what a great little blind! I really fun. enjoyed that. You freaking killed it as usual if you do blinds, and uh, yeah, <laughs> I learned something about myself. Bash three. Batch three is good, man. Batch three is good. Batch three is good. Batch and three is good. I've been telling people that for a long time. And I was always saying batch four. No, but batch four is great too. Like, yeah. let's get this straight for the record. These are all within like a half a point of each They're other. They're all, yeah, I think I scored them within a half a <laughs> right? point. Right? Like yeah. all three of these are within a half a point. So on yeah. any given night, we do this 10 times, it could be a different result almost That's true. every single time. Very true. Right? Very, very true. So. Yeah. Well, that's going to do it for us. Hopefully, uh, YouTube doesn't um, <laughs> demonetize, demonetize us. us, strike our videos. I hope they allow alcohol. I mean, I think that we should be safe for a bit, but who knows? You never know. You know, I feel bad for cigar channels that have a really well-established channel, and now all of a sudden, you know, they can't do their affiliate links, and even just the mention of something could get a strike on their channel. Um, that's tough. And it could get shut down. That sucks. That really does. That sucks. And it's... I mean, again, we're at the mercy of a company that gave us a lot of opportunity to. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, yeah. take it, you know, if, if, you, if you decided to start a YouTube channel and quit your day job, then maybe you shouldn't be blaming YouTube for your, <laughs> for your problems. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, so. I hear that. I'm going to do a little blend. I was going to do the same thing. All actually. them together. Yeah, I was going to do the same thing. But the problem is I have the two ones that I don't I you like the least. A couple. Yeah. yeah. Uh, hey, if you want to support uh, this channel, you can check out our Patreons. Join for as little as a dollar, you can get this podcast sooner than anyone else. Yeah. And the other option you guys have now is you can go to both of our channels, um, and there's a little thank you button. So if you like videos like this and you want to see us do more blind challenges, let us know by going to Jeremy's channel, going to my channel, and drop a little super chat in the thank you column. Yeah. It could be as low as $1, but it tells us that this is something that they really like. I think for our next lineup, you wanna recreate the Johnny Walker blind lineup? Remember can, the video? The the video that went viral? That yeah, went somewhat viral <laughs> that I wanted to do, I pitched to you, Yeah. and we I said that we should do it together. The video that never happened that made <laughs> Made, made, my made Jeremy roll in, like 
Uh, like what is it, Daffy Duck? <laughs> Jumping in the stacks of cash. The, Scrooge McDuck. Uh, Scrooge McDuck. Scrooge yes. McDuck. Scrooge McDuck. <laughs> Just laughing and laughing, <laughs> and pointing at me. And yeah, laughing. we're like, I told you we should have done this video together. <laughs> but uh, why don't we do that? Why don't we do the red label to the blue? We'll line it up. I think we'll be able to guess them. One of the biggest criticisms that I got for doing that Johnny Walker thing was not doing them blind. Okay, so let's do them. And blind. people were like, you should do this blind. Yeah. I'm like, I'm gonna be able to pick out. The majority of these, the red is easy. The red should the be double easy. black is easy. I feel like the blacks should be easy. The black, okay. The, the blacks, the blacks in general. The double black is the easiest. Okay. The reds obviously. The I think easiest. the green's gonna be really easy. Green as well. could be easy because it's just it's the only malted blend. It's and the only, um, malt, blended malt. Blended malt. The blue, you. I don't think you're gonna mistake that like velvety mouthfeel in the finish of that blue label. Yeah. And then the eighteen. I and think where the we're gold. Gonna, maybe you could. Flip I was gonna say. Those, I think those two were gonna. The, between right? the last three is where we're gonna have trouble. I think that we can nail it. I think that we can nail that lineup. All right. Well, let's try. I it. like your confidence. Yeah, okay, I think we can nail it. Let's do it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, thanks so much for watching, guys. We much appreciate it, and have a good one. Cheers. Cheers.